Hello, good day everyone. Okay, that's not how I sound. Okay, I'm a Malaysian. Okay, so today in this video, I'll show you how to check the continuity of the breadboard and how the breadboard functions, whether in series or in parallel whatsoever. So I have uh, two different breadboards here. You can see that this one here, the connections are similar here, here and here. And then the other one is the top like this, like this and like this. And then this one here is all mixture of uh, two different types. One it goes this way and the other one goes this way. So how the breadboard functions behind is that you can see this is the silver plating of it. So you can see for this part here it connects from one end to the other end and then there's a gutter here. So in order for you to connect from here to here you need to add a jumper wire. Then it connects on whole line again. And then for the below parts here you can see it works as one line each of it is one line, one line, one line, one line, one line, one line, one line. So you can see uh, the same thing goes. You will see there's a gutter in the middle for each of it. So every time like you want to continue a connection, you have to add a jump wire from one point to the other point. And note that it always uh, runs in one one stretch here. Like these five points, they are all connected. Okay. So now I'll show you how to check the continuity of the breadboard using a multimeter. So I'm using a Sanwa multimeter. You can use any multimeter to check continuity. So always put the black one into the comb. Always. Okay. And then the red one, when you want to measure voltage, resistance or continuity, you can uh, plug it into here and then when you measure current, you plug it into here. So currently, we are just going to check continuity, so you just plug it in here. Okay, And then you can see there's multiple choices of uh, uh, options on selecting what you want to measure. So there's voltage, then resistance, uh, diode, value and then this is the continuity uh, symbol, which is actually, it gives you a sound. So now you go into switching it on. Once you have gone here, then you go for select here. So you see now it's a diode, now it's sound. So first you just check whether your multimeter gives you a noise. If it doesn't give you a noise, you're using a very cheap multimeter. Okay, so you see, once you touch both of them, you have a sound and then you get some resistance value. That's normal means that your device is connected and there's continuity from one end to the other. So now you can see how the breadboard connection works. So just now I said that uh, regarding the top ones here, how the connection works is from one end to the other it's connected. So you see now, once I plug it in, so you see there's a sound there. If let's say if I want to uh, continue from here to here, you see, if I do it like this, there's no sound whatsoever. So if I want to continue the connection, just take a jumper wire, plug it in. So now you can hear the noise. Okay, sometimes the connection is because of the probes. I can't plug it in too much, so you have to use a jumper wire sometimes. See, the breadboard, uh, the, the holes are too small, so it's if you want to see uh, more, much more better sounds or whatsoever, you should uh, plug in a jumper wire, like here, we have here. So you see, the whole connection of one line works when you connect this wire from, from one to, to the other, because there's a gutter here. <coughs> okay, so for the other one, the, the going downwards, so you can see, just now I said, they work in one line. So now you see, like again, I say the connections are too <coughs> small, so I'll just do like this. Okay, so now connect. 
Stay safe. This is because of the contact. So, in this continuating. So if you want to measure here, this side, it won't do anything because it's not connected. There's a gutter here. So in order for you to connect, just put it in here. And definitely you will work here. Okay, sometimes you don't get the sound is because of the breadboard connection. Yeah, alright, so you see, this is how it works. So, just let me uh, re rephrase the sentence. So, the connections, one whole line here is connected. And then, to continue back again here, you put a jump wire from one point to the other, so this whole line will be connected. The reason why they are not connected, there's a gutter here. Always think it as an obstacle, so you just put it as uh, put a wire and then it will work. Okay, so this is how this breadboard works. Now moving on to another one more breadboard. It same goes as well. This one it, there's already color coding on it, so you can know how it, uh, how each point works. So it says here the black one on the top here. You can see they are connected from one end to the other. So okay, this one the holes are very small like, again, so the probes can't uh, fit into the hole. So you see, direct connections, meaning it's one whole line from here all the way to here. <coughs> so for the rear one, you can see if I plug it here and here. See, no sound, which indicates that there's a gutter here from going from one point to the other. This one here, it's connected the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is to just put it here. So you see, there's a connection there. So, this breadboard at least, they have a, a labeling of color on how the connection works for the con continuity side of the breadboard. So, the below part here is the same as the, the other breadboard, where you can see the continuity works this way. Sorry. Okay. So, you see. See? It's the same as this breadboard, just that it's the other way around. This is same as going it this way, so it's the same. So if I plug, I'm plug it in here, see, it doesn't work, it's the same. The, the gutter here is the same thing as here. So, yeah, I can't really connect because you can see it doesn't fit into the hole. So that's how the continuity of the breadboard works, okay? Alright, thank you.